which seems impossible to believe. Meet little Marley, a toddler who for years complained about a persistent cough, something doctors diagnosed as asthma. But as his condition worsened, his parents feared something didn't add up. So if you fast forward five years and the deteriorating eight-year-old was flown from Adelaide to Melbourne Royal Children's Hospital, where surgeons made an unbelievable discovery an arts and crafts plastic flower lodged in his throat. Marley and his best friend, along with Dad Jay, join us now in Melbourne, out the front of the Children's Hospital. Jay, I mean, I can't believe this story, and this must have been unimaginable for you. Just take us back to the beginning and when you first realised that there was something wrong. Uh, well, yeah, back at the beginning, Marley, uh, as about a two-year-old, he uh, had a bit of a cough and, um, yeah, we sort of didn't think much of it and uh, we took him to the doctors and, uh, yeah, where a couple of years later, doctors diagnosed him with asthma and um, had a puffer and the puffer didn't work and it gradually got worse and then um, with Marley in the last few years playing a lot of sport, his football and basketball, um, slowly went downhill pretty quick. He couldn't run out his games, was coughing a lot more, bringing a lot of food up, bringing water up every time he ate. And um, that's when Sky and I just, yeah, really pressed and pushed and asked more questions, really wanted an answer because we had a feeling that it was not asthma. And um, yeah. I mean, and, been, and this was five years journey, you, you so. dealt with this, Jay, right? And, and like when you say, I mean, and I think a, a parent's intuition here, right, you should never ignore it. Um, but when his cough became worse, you said, well, particularly when he ate and he drank, I mean, he was vomiting all the time. And when he would cough, he'd cough for hours. When, I mean, that was obviously a sign for you that it was something more than asthma. How do you feel about the fact that, that the doctors didn't believe you? Um, it wasn't, I think, that the doctors didn't believe us. It was just, um, all right, Sky and I pushing a little bit more and we just, as a parent's feeling, you just thought it wasn't asthma. Like, Sky and I, we've got no backlash on the doctors. Like, our support team back in Adelaide, Annie Roberts, the head surgeon, Melbourne Children's Hospital, they're unbelievable. Like, and to finally get an answer of what it was is, well, we wouldn't have done it without the hospitals. So yeah. you do need them, like I said, but it's sometimes you've just got to push that little bit more, you know. Doctors don't know everything. There's a lot, and it, yeah, it's unbelievable. But, yeah, what was your reaction shot, when you heard amazed, what was but... stuck in his throat? Um, uh, dispel disbelief. We just, uh, yeah, complete and utter shock. Like, um, but we saw sort of had an answer, like, but yeah, it was a plastic flower. I wish it was a bit man more manly and a hot was wheel or something, but, you know, you get that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marley, mate, how are you feeling now? And just tell me how the last couple of years have been. Cutting. Good. You feeling good now? Yep, that's all right. You yeah. can be a man a few words. That's quite all right, buddy. Glad to see that it's all been dealt with and everyone's OK and we appreciate you coming on this morning. Well done, guys. Thank you. G'day, it's Ali. And Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please? Why? Please? I don't know. <laughs>